Hey guys, Apple Fanatic here with some exciting news for you iPhone 3GS and 3G users. Um, today, the uh, unlock was released. I am reading the dev team's blog, so I'm just going to do a little read of what they said. Um, today, we please announce the uh, free carry unlock for iPhone 3G, 3GS users and owners with a base bin later than 5.0, 5.13.04. This unlock for the basement exploded the AT, you won't want to say what that means. Um, okay, you don't have to understand any of that, but just to let you guys know, there's an unlock out, and next section, it turns out that the very first iPad firmware 3.2.2 has baseband version 06.50, which is still vulnerable to that exploit they mentioned earlier. Um, I don't know if they've jailbroken it yet, and they haven't said it. So, since 0.6 is higher version of Okay, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible for you guys. Anyone stuck at that version can simply upgrade to 0.15 to unlock again. So if you're stuck at 0.514 or 0.5.15, you can upgrade to 0.15 and unlock. Um, all right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Just to let you guys know how to do it. I don't have an iPhone, but if I had an iPhone, I'd show you. Um, you're gonna want to first up is Ponage Tool 4.13 Unlock Edition. It has a special dialog box which will ask if you want to update the to the baseband. You must already have the iPad 3.2.2 ISPW on your computer, so they have figured out an iLock I mean, an unlock for the iPad. Um, directly after Ponage Tool 4.3 is available, and they give you a link. Link will be in the description. Um, finally, we'll be releasing Red Snow today for those without Max. And can't run Ponage Tool. So if you don't have a Mac, go check out. I don't know why I pointed over there. My Windows computer is over there, so maybe that's why. But I don't know. Um, go check them out. It's going to be for Windows. Um, the new Red Snow will give you an option to update your baseband to 0 0.6.5, which basically means, guys, getting rid of all the technical mumble jumble. If you have an iPhone 3G, 3GS with an old boot ROM, um, right? Yeah, not with an old boot ROM, with an older baseband, later than the 5.13. So if you haven't updated past 5.1304, you can update your baseband through Red Snow to 0 0.15, 0 0.615. And you will then be able to unlock your device. Um, so just give you a quick warning. There's no way to come back from 0 0.6, 0 0.6.15, and there's no hiding the basement version from Apple, which basically means that if you fuck your device, sorry for the language, but if you your device up anyway, and you have to bring it into Apple, you can't downgrade it. And they'll know, and they'll be like, shame, and then they won't obviously fix it. They might not do that, but they'll do some variation of that. Maybe they'll call the cops, and you probably not, but they might just... You're gonna go like sorry, you you avoided the warranty. They're gonna throw their hands up in the air and wave them like they don't care, and then they're gonna say next, and that appointment will be over. Um, if some future baseband comes out with a critical fix, you won't be able to update it to it if it remains down in the fives. So basically, that means if a something goes massively wrong with the iPhone's baseband, a huge exploit is found in the baseband, and hackers are able to put viruses onto your computer that download porn or something like that. And you are on point zero six point zero six point one five. You can't downgrade if it's if they if Apple releases the base band that's on five. So I mean, obviously do it. I'm not gonna even say don't do it because the chance of that virus coming along or you screwing up your device bad enough where you need to restore it. Well, you you wouldn't be able to. Ew, my key's dirty. You wouldn't be able to restore it and have to bring it to Apple. It's very slim. But don't take me, I freaked out last night, I thought I broke my device, and I had to go into Google and find the answer. Oh, I know, I haven't Googled an iPod fix forever, but I did because I was feeling like a noob. Um, and then it says right here, certainly don't update your baseband if you don't need to. Only do this if you need the unlock and you're stuck on 5.14 or 5.15. So basically guys, they just said the above, if you don't need an unlock, yeah, don't do this. If you need an unlock, Go try it out. But if you don't, you don't have to. I'd love to do a tutorial. If someone wants to send me a freaking iPhone 3G or 3GS, I will have their babies. But obviously, I'm not expecting anyone to do that. But yeah, this is just a walkthrough on um, how to fix it. Um, it should just be the... If you've watched any of my Fred Snow tutorials or Ponage Tools um, tutorials, it's the same thing. You just want to click up my... The ba you just want to click things. It's not going to be like all technical. We got a fucking cold shit. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I just swore. I didn't mean to do that. 
Um, you don't have to quote a bunch of crap. So, I'm really sorry, guys. That was horrible. I should not have just said that. But I said it. So, sorry, guys. Um, and I'm just going to read this last segment. The Ponish Tool Ops contains a 4.21 bundle for the iPhone 2 users for all outs. It's still only 4.1. If you have an iPhone 3GS with an old boot ROM, the, red, the new Red Snow will handle 4.2.1 for you. In fact, it covers 4.2.1 for all devices, even though some of them are still tethered. So basically, that means it will dev it will unlock all devices for 4.2.1 on the old boot ROM, but it's still going to be a tethered jailbreak for Red Snow. So update the stock 4.2.1 first, then use the upcoming Red Snow to update your baseband. So guys, if you have any questions, link will be in the description for opponent's tool and then once red snow was released i will put it back in the description so guys well not back but i will put it in the description so guys if you have any questions comment me or um better yet mr aj tech is gonna probably make a video soon enough so um why don't you go over to his channel link will be in the description for him and just go check him out because i don't have an iphone to do any of this and he has several so guys, this is Apple Fanatic saying if you have questions that I can answer that don't involve like actually having to use the iPhone, I'll do it. But if it involves having to do stuff with the iPhone, just scoot over to his channel. Link for his channel will be in the description along with download links. So for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace.